It's very exciting on the Sunday footy show. Sam Mitchell, one of the all-time greats of the Hawthorne Football Club, is allowing us into his house. So, Sam, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Let's head in. Come in. And let's go for a chat. It's only small. It's a lot more spacious than it looks. <laughs> very nice. Now, Sam Mitchell. Uh, let me tell you about Sam Mitchell. Four times best and fairest. Premiership captain, premiership player. He's going to go down as one of the all-time greats, a contested ball winner. Thank you so much for having us in your house. Oh, thank you. It's a bit embarrassing, all that. Although you've done most of that stuff. That's uh, very true. And that's all right. You keep eating. <laughs> and I've got a son who wants some more tomato sauce. That's always going to happen. <laughs> and uh, when a Mitchell gets angry, you've got to look after them because that's the way they operate. Just okay. in your own time, Shh. Sam. Uh, Sorry about that. Conducting an interview here. No, thank you so much for having us. How are you? Going well, going well. All, uh, all settled down these days. Yeah, well you are, certainly. How are you coping in being a professional footballer and having such a big family? Uh, it's good. It was tough for probably a year or so, um, but now it's, it's great. We're sort of glad we did it. Um, now that you look back on it, you say that it was a bit of a haze for a year or so, but now we've got three kids, they're all over two, and um, you know, they're just good fun, 98% of the time. 2% <laughs> of the time, they drive you crazy. Now, is it true that you used to stay away the night before a game just so you could get a full night's sleep? Yeah, I did that for the, fir the whole first year when we had the girls. I'd sit down, and then the second year... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second year I got away with it for the first half of the year, and then got the, got the reins pulled in, which was probably fair enough, but I probably milked it for a little bit longer than I need to, but it was good. Yep. And you've had some wonderful help. Uh, Lyndall, your beautiful wife's father, has been a terrific help of late. Yeah, he's uh, been extraordinary. He um, spends a lot of time with the kids. And whenever I'm away, um, you know, he usually comes and helps out and does a fair bit around here. And certainly good to have someone you can rely on all the time. And what about the football club at the moment? Everything seems to be going really well. Yeah, it's a pretty happy place to be. After the, after the game, we are, for some reason, we've been playing crazy music that even Clarko has been singing and dancing too, you wouldn't believe that. But no, it's a pretty happy place to be at the moment. Everyone's in a pretty buoyant mood and pretty positive about where we're at. But we know it's just the start of a marathon really and we've got a lot of work to do and got to continue to back up week after week. And how much does losing a grand final hurt? Does that still stick with you right now? Yeah, I guess it does. When, when you think about it, it does. But I guess you probably don't think about it quite as often as you used to because you've got something else to worry about day after day. I always say, perhaps it's hard. That off-season, it might be harder for the for the fans because they've got nothing to focus on on a day-to-day -day basis where at least us we've got training and then meetings and then more training and then games to sort of take your mind off it and make sure you're focused on, on what you're doing. You want some water? Oh, you want to go in the naughty corner? What do you want? Sausage roll? Okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, some of your favourite teammates at the Hawthorne Football Club. Um, Which ones do you enjoy being around the most? Uh, I mean, a footy club's always an interesting place. There's always a lot of banter. Um, one of the, the kids' favourites is, is Jared Ruffhead. He bought him those fish there. <laughs> there was three, there's only two left. Kids haven't noticed yet. <laughs> um, so he bought them for their birthday. He's really good with the kids and spends a lot of time uh, just hanging out. Uh, Jordan Lewis lives around the corner, spend a fair bit of time with him. Obviously, the older guys have got kids. <gasps> hey, who did that big burp? <laughs> You being a lion. <laughs> they take after their mother. What are you doing? <laughs> you be a lion. Show me. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, Sam Mitchell, thank you so much for having us in your house. Um, I know you're a very busy man, and to give up some time for the Sunday footy show means a lot to us, and to you and Lyndall and all your family. What are their names? Uh, Smith. Um, um, uh, Smith. E Emerton? No. E e Smith em Emerson? Yep. So yeah, Smith, Emerson, and Charlotte. Scarlet. Scarlet. <laughs> Smith, Emerson, and Charlotte. He has been hanging around with them for three hours. Can't get him out of the house. He still doesn't know their names. Shocking. Yeah.